Hello, you wonderful people. In today's video, we're going to get started with Remix Shad Cien UI, which uses Tailwind under the hood. And then we're going to test out V0 to see if we could actually build a simple landing page. Yes, yes, we know Remix is awesome, but Chat CN UI is awesome too. Why? Because you're able to install these amazing components to build your application. And what's awesome, it's not a library. What it actually does is install the actual component on your computer that you could modify. And we'll see that later in just a little bit. But you have all these amazing different components that you could use for your application. We have cards tasks, playground, if you use ChatGPT, looks awfully familiar. I wonder if that's what they used. And you have forms, different music examples. And what's awesome, you pick and choose the components that you want. So let's get started. If you've never used Remix, Remix is amazing. It's one of my favorite frameworks to use. I'm a big fan of anything React. So Remix and Next.js as my second choice is the best. So let's take a look how we could set up our initial project with Remix. We could go to the documentation and here you could see all you need to do is run npx create remix at latest. I'm going to go ahead and copy it and I'm going to paste it in my terminal. It's going to ask us where would we like to install it. I'm going to call it remix wind. Why not? Tailwind, Remix, get it. I'm gonna click enter, initialize Git repository. No, thank you, install dependencies, yes. It's gonna go ahead and do all the magical things that it needs to do. Once everything installed, let's cd into Remix slash Wind, and you could start your project by running yarn dev. You now have Remix set up and installed. Before taking a look at the folder structure, let's go to Shad CN UI and we're going to click on the docs and we're going to click on installation and here we're going to choose Remix. And don't worry, I'll make similar videos with Next.js. But today we're going to work with Remix. We already completed step A where we installed our Remix app. So now let's go ahead and copy this npx shed cn slash UI at latest and install that to initialize our project. So I'm gonna stop my Remix project. I'm gonna paste in the command. So yes, for proceed. It's gonna ask you a couple of questions. It's very important that you follow the docs. Of course, I'm gonna show you in the video what options to pick. But because we are installing for Remix, we want to make sure that we follow these steps correctly. So the first answer is yes. The second answer, would you like to use default style? Yes, why not? Slate, of course. Where's the global CSS is going to be? And I believe in the Remix, it's going to be at app slash tailwind.css. And then yes for CSS variable colors. Yes, leave this blank. And this is going to be located at tailwindconfig.js. And do you want to configure the import alias for components? It's going to be, let's double check here. Notice how for Remix, we want to use the tilde. So I'm going to go ahead and do at tilde components. And then we're going to do the same thing for lib utils. I believe it's utils. Yes, it is. Click enter and it's no for React components. And yes, to proceed is gonna go ahead and install all the necessary uh, folders. So now the next part is to install our Tailwind CSS. So let's scroll down here and notice that we need to copy this command to install Tailwind and auto prefixer. So let's copy it. And inside our terminal, we're gonna paste it in. It's gonna go ahead and install all the necessary packages. Next, we need to create a post css.config.js file. So let's go ahead and open our project in our code editor and inside the root of our project, let's create a new file and it's going to be post css.config.js and we're going to paste in the settings. Fantastic. Next, we have to update our remix config.js file and we're going to add these two flags. So inside our project, inside Remix config, let's go ahead and add Tailwind true and post CSS true. Finally, let's take a look. Now we need to go to our app slash root.tsx file and add our link to our style. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and let's go inside our app folder, root.tsx, and we're going to Paste in the command. This is going to go ahead and import our styles from Tailwind CSS, which is inside our app folder here. Here we go. Here's our file. And then in Remix, we're going to reference it 
inside our link function. Here we are saying we want a style sheet and we are referencing the styles that we just imported. And because I just pasted the snippet in, it is duplicate of the one that was previously there without the Tailwind styles. I'm gonna delete it and this should be it. So the cool part about Shetsi UI is that you don't install a full library, but you get to install components that you wanna use individually. So let's take a look at the example. And this channel is brought to you by me. So if you wanna learn more about Remix, you could search Remix and Strappy on the YouTubes. I have obviously content as well, but I did create this free code camp, which covers all the basic things that you need to know to get started with Remix. So go ahead and check out this channel if you want to learn more about what Remix and Strappy has to offer. But now let's get back into the video. So let's say we wanna use this accordion component. So all I'm going to do is follow the installation process, which shows here that what I want to do is copy this command, run shetc slash UI at latest, add and the name of the component, which is the accordion. So let me copy that before installing. And here you could see that we have the code that is required to use this component. But first in our terminal, let's go ahead, paste the command and install the package. Once it installs, you're gonna see inside your app folder, inside the components on the UI, here's the base code for that accordion. And what's awesome, you could actually make additional modifications here if you had to, to change it, but we won't need to do that. So now let's go into our routes inside the index folder. And inside here, I'm just gonna delete everything here because we're gonna replace it with our accordion component. So here, let's go ahead and copy the code. And what we're going to do is paste our component here. Just two things to keep in mind. When using Remix, this expects a default export. And also instead of an at, you wanna use a tilde. And we'll talk in later videos why this needs to be a export default, but for now, here we have our component and this is all we need to do. Let's fix this a little bit by going to our root and we're just gonna add a class in the body to make it a little bit easier for us to see. We're gonna say class name because we're using Tailwind. We could say container and MX auto for auto margin. And now here we go, it's a little bit better. But the point is, boom, we have this beautiful accordion. And what's awesome, again, we're not installing a full library, but we're only installing the components that we wanna use. So if we take a look inside our component folder, here you are, we just installed the only component that we need to use. And if you need to modify and make changes for any reasons, you could go ahead and do so inside this file as well. But a lot of times you don't need to. And so with that being said, now that we know that our Remix application is hooked up to Shat CUI, what you could do is you could use this VO by Vercel service that creates layouts automatically using AI. I'm not saying this is gonna solve all your business problems, but if you're quickly prototyping, this is a great way to do it. So let's say create a landing page using Shad CN UI. Let's see what our computer says. We click enter, it's gonna go ahead and do its magic. And here it created a very simple component, which is pretty awesome. So what I'm gonna go here is click on code. Let's go ahead and copy the code and try it out. So inside our app, inside our routes, we're going to go inside the index and we're going to delete all this accordion code and we're gonna paste the snippet that we just got from Vercel Zero. So first things first, let's delete this import. I'm gonna keep this as reference and here, instead of link coming from next because we're using Remix, we're gonna say at Remix React and put it inside brackets and the change here this link expects a two prop, but we're not gonna worry about it too much right now. And here we're missing that we need to install the navigation menu from Shatsi UI. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna go add and paste navigation menu, click enter. And it's gonna go ahead and install the required uh, component. So let's restart our application. Again, we have a complaint here because remember we're using Remix. This should be a tilde. And everything else looks great. And you could check inside your components folder 
Notice how under our UI folder, we have our navigation menu, which came from Chat C UI. So now let's go ahead, take a look at our project and bam, look at this. We have a basic homepage. Is it beautiful? I don't know. You could probably tweak it a little bit. So you could see that some of this AI generated stuff is not perfect, but it's pretty awesome. So in the next video, what I think we would do is continue building out this simple application so we could cover some of the basic aspects of Remix. And if you, for some reason, don't like Remix, don't worry. I also talk about Next.js on this channel. And when you're starting out, it's important to focus on one particular framework to make sure you understand it and could build things well. But after a while, it's kind of cool if you familiarize yourself with a couple of different. So on my channel, the three frameworks that I focus on is Remix, Astro, and XGS. So if you like to see more videos about those things, definitely stay tuned. But with that being said, thank you so much for checking out this channel. I know there's a lot of channels out there, so I really appreciate that you spend your time with me today. And thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.